Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be discussing the VPN awards. Who won the best VPN? Who won the worst VPN? And which VPN won the most improved VPN award of 2021? Because I couldn't have done this channel without you guys. You guys' viewership, subscriptions, purchases through my links, and use of my discount codes has let me do this as my full-time job for many years. So, as a final send-off to 2021, Thank you guys for the support, thanks for voting here, and thanks for supporting objective and honest reviews here on the channel. At the end of this video, I might go into discussions of what I would pick for these different options, but first, let's go over the results. Also guys, if you do want to purchase any of the VPNs mentioned in this video, of course, try to use my promo codes in the discounts uh, in the description down below, and the pinned comment for my top rated VPNs or check out VPN tier list to see the top ranked VPNs here on the channel. All right guys, let's get into the votes. All right guys, so first off, let's start with the best VPN of 2021 overall. And this one actually kind of did surprise me. I was expecting TorGuard to win here because most people on the channel do use TorGuard. Uh, just from looking at the affiliate subscription uh, links that people are clicking and purchasing, um, TorGuard is the number one option here on the channel. However, that said, Hi.me had overtaken TorGuard here with around two more votes, so it's not a huge margin, but maybe due to the fact that more Hi.me users have found my channel, or maybe more people are using Hi.me lately and they do like it, could be one of the reasons why it did win. Or maybe just more people like Hi.me currently on the channel right now than TorGuard. I'm not really sure why. Uh, not as many people are using Hi.me yet as TorGuard, but people do seem to like it and it's a good VPN. So congratulations to Hi.me for winning the overall best VPN of 2021. I think I would have put it in the most improved category uh, just because it's done a lot of cool improvements, implementing WireGuard. And it kind of, when I looked at it last year, I really liked the VPN and thought it had one of the best applications. However, I wasn't impressed with its speeds or pricing model. Now things seem to be much more affordable the speeds seem to be better, and overall, the customer support and just collective package of the product is very, very good. Um, and they have one of the best applications around, a lot of cool new features they're implementing, and I really like it. If you guys haven't seen my how to use hide.me video I made a couple days ago, check out that one. I did a lot of cool how to um, settings, how to use the settings, uh, how to optimize the application, how to get your way around the application, since it is a little bit more complicated sometimes, and it's a really good application, so check that out. We VPN did good well here as well, and it's cool to see that my top three VPNs I recommend on the channel are the top rated VPNs here on the channel overall that people do like. So that is that shows that I'm doing something right. Um, the least liked one was IP Vanish. Going up the list here, um, another good chunk was uh, Express VPN, but besides that, everything else was kind of like a wash. No one really seems to care too much about other VPNs here on at least my channel. We can look at the biggest disappointment now of 2021, and unfortunately, that was Express VPN. Now, I can think of one really good reason why this is the reason, and that's because Express VPN pretty much sold out. They sold their entire company to Cape. Um, which is a huge VPN conglomerate that a lot of people do not trust or like nowadays. Um, anytime a VPN sells out to Cape, people kind of throw a fuss because they don't like how that company had it kind of pivoted to be into cybersecurity and had a pass as more of an advertising company. So ExpressVPN disappointed a lot of people this year. They had a really good reputation before and now in a lot of people's opinions, it's completely squandered. So that's why people don't like ExpressVPN right now, I would guess. Besides that, nothing really else has changed about the application, so it has to be that in my opinion. Second up, another big disappointment was NordVPN and Surfshark. I could see that the reason these two are on here is because both Nord and Surfshark just advertise so much, and people might feel that they got mislead, misled into thinking these were the perfect products, when in fact these products do have their downsides. Additionally, Surfshark and Nord are both notorious with having huge sales going on all the time, or at least they make their sales seem big and alert people into purchasing perhaps quicker than they want to. So that could be one of the reasons why both Nord and Surfshark had some disappointing users here on my channel, or maybe people just don't really like those VPNs, so they picked them to be the worst VPNs of 2021. Um, so that's interesting to see. Um, good news is, is that you know, our top rated VPNs here on the channel didn't get that many votes. So 
seems like we're doing something right again last up we have the most v approved vpn of the ward and look who won again hide.me followed by we vpn and torger vpn and surfshark surfshark did better on the tier list this year um a little bit better however that said hide.me definitely had the biggest bump and it seems to be ren uh be a common theme with people on my channel liking it as well and seeing it as the most improved vpn i said that i would put it um from here to here and it seems like a lot of people also agree that said we vpn has done very well this well year as well improving a lot of things so i'm glad to see that they're there as well but once again the top three vpns here on the channel i recommend are also the top three vpns that people do seem to think are really good and are improving which is a good um i'm gonna be checking out some of these suggestions you guys left me here for the channel just to see what kind of stuff i should do going forward thanks for participating in this award ceremony and maybe tweet out to these vpns if you saw that they won and it could make them kind of happy and i'll see you guys in the next video very soon